Welcome to the second video on the Brushing Up on Algebra, algebra series. This video is going to be about combining like terms, and I want to go into just a little bit of theory behind this, because I think this is something that's not often taught in algebra classes. Let's go back to the basic distribution rule, when we have uh, x plus y times a equals ax plus ay. And let's apply it to this 3x plus 4x. Now this 3x uh, plus 4x has this x as a common factor. So when we have 3x plus 4x, that's the same thing as 3 plus 4x. I just went in the reverse for the basic distribution rule. I factored out that x. And 3 plus 4, well, we just know that that's equal to 7. So that means we can combine these two, um, this 3 plus 4, to make 7 x. And of course we usually don't show these individual steps, we just go ahead and go straight to, well, 3x plus 4x equals 7x. And that's, that's perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with that, obviously, because we don't want to waste time showing an extra step that's unnecessary. But this is the reason why it works, and that's why I wanted to show that. Uh, and that's why you have to have like terms before you can combine. That's why you can't have different variables. That's why you can't have uh, that's why you can't have different exponents. So let's go ahead and look at some particular examples. Can we combine these two terms? Well, no. We can't because we have an x here and a y here. Since we don't have the same variable, since the variables don't match, we can't combine those. Now let's look at uh, 2x plus 3x squared. Can we combine these? Well, uh, you sh probably already realized no, and I'll, I'll go into more detail as to why. Whenever we have, we can factor out an x, but we will still have an x left right here. So that means we can't combine these because these are not the same same kind of uh, same kind of terms anymore. Uh, not, they never were. So that means you can't combine these because whenever you pull out the x, you still have an x left right here. So since these exponents don't match. Uh, the variable since the variables don't match, um, we can't combine these because they're not like terms. Now, can we combine like terms here? Uh, actually, yes, we can because you have two x minus seven x. You have an x here and an x here, so it just becomes negative five x. And now let's look at some particular examples. This might look familiar because this was the unfinished problem from the previous video. Um, we didn't finish it because I wanted to talk about, I wanted to finish it here actually, because I wanted to talk about combining like terms. Um, now, every problem, the simplified form of every expression will always be as expanded out as it can be and have as many terms combined as it can be. Uh, some people might not agree with me on the expanded part, but I would go ahead and expand every, if, if you want the most simplified form, sometimes you don't need it, but if you do want it, then you'll want to um, expand it as much as you can. So if we have x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6. This was from, I want to say example 2 from the previous video, I, I don't really know that for sure. Um, well, so we look for all like terms. There's only one x square term, there's no other x squared, so we're done with that. I'm crossing that out not because uh, we're, not because it's cancelled, but because I'm done with it. I don't want to think about it anymore because I have, I'm done with all the x squared terms. Now we have two terms that have one x. Negative 3x and positive 2x. That combines to make negative x. So now we're done with those two. So I'm crossing them out, not because they cancel, but because we're done with them. And there's only one term left, so negative 6 um, is going to be our final, t final term. So that is the final factored form of uh, x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6. Only two terms to combine. Now in example 2, so we have quite a few more terms here to deal with. Uh, x cubed plus 5x squared minus 7x minus x squared minus 5x plus 7. I always like to recopy the problem so I don't um, 
mess up whatever we have here. So now there's only one. Oh, also this is also from the previous video. We only have one x x cubed term. Excuse me. And so that means there's nothing left to combine. So we're done with that. And we have this 5x squared and this negative x squared. Those are the only x squared terms. So those are the only two we can combine there. So that'll be 5 minus 1 is going to be 4x squared. 5 minus x squared is 4. Uh, 5x squared minus x squared is negative. Uh. I, I wrote it, I don't need to say it out loud. <laughs> and so now we look for terms that only have an x. And that's, oh, sorry, I meant to cross these out because we're done with them. Negative 7x minus 5x, that's going to be minus 12x. So now I cross those out because I'm done with them. And there's nothing left except for this 7 right here. So plus 7. So that is the most simplified form of the above expression. And this example doesn't come from anything. I just made it up um, made it up just now. I thought I'd go ahead and do one more example. So we have 2 2x plus 2x squared minus x plus 3x to the fourth plus 5x squared. Okay, so I have this 2x, and I want to see are there any other x terms. Okay, well, there's just this x right here. So we have uh, 2x minus 1, or 2 minus 1 will just give us x. And then I have this x squared term, so I see are there any other, oh, cross those out because I'm done with them. Uh, are there any other x squared terms? Well, there's this 5x squared. Positive 2 and positive 5 make positive 7x squared. And I'm done with those. This is the only term left. It's the only 3x to the fourth term. So plus 3x to the fourth. And if I want to be just a little bit more standard, I think just about any teacher would accept this as an answer, but Generally speaking, we like to have our variables in our, our exponents in descending order. So I'd rather have 3x to the fourth. Oh, that's bad handwriting. 3x to the fourth plus 7x squared plus x. All right, that concludes this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.